Alright, what up world? It's your boy DJ Big O coming right back at you with the new prediction for what's gonna happen this 2014 Super Bowl clash between the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Super the Seattle Seahawks. Alright, let's get this thing out of the way. Number one, I didn't expect I expected Denver to go. Seattle, you know what, this whole year y'all been doing your thing. I got a lot of Seattle Seahawks fans down here in Houston, and you know what? Yeah, y'all surprised the hell out of me. Real talk. Russell Wilson, you ain't had a great season, but you did have a good season to get you, to manage your team to where you all at. On Denver end, the defense is great, but this year they proved to be not as great. But Peyton Manning held y'all down all year long. Can't get mad at that. Peyton Manning is on a rampage right now. So here's my official prediction. My official prediction, I got the score going 38-17. to 17. That's right, I said it. 38-17, to 17, Denver Broncos winning and scoring big. I love Richard Sherman. That is one of the greatest cornerbacks ever. Just because of that mouth, that attitude, that swag he got. That's one of the greatest quarter. Greatest cornerbacks ever that I feel. Now, the reason why I picked the score. Okay, this is my reason. Seattle offense dry, thrives off the run. So, if it's a bad weather out there, maybe the score will be a little different. But I don't see no bad weather coming in the Super Bowl. For the simple reason is, all the bad weather happening now, and it should be cleared up by the time of the Super Bowl. So, I have a feeling that. Seattle and Seattle and Denver will have a close game in the first half. Matter of fact, the first half might end in a tie. I, I can see the first half going, I say the first half going 10-10. First half. I will say that 10-10 first half. Second half, Peyton Manning will be on a rampage. Peyton Manning will score big and score often in the second half. Score big and score often. Not only that, I'm letting you know ahead of time, Russell Wilson will be exposed in the Super Bowl. I love Russell Wilson, but he will be exposed in the Super Bowl for the simple reason is Seattle offense cannot keep up with high explosive offenses. I, I hate to say it, the only high explosive offense they went up against was my New Orleans Saints this year, which their defense did shut down. But this is the Super Bowl. He's going against Peyton Manning and a whole new different energy. And he's trying to dog on, proclaim himself as a GOAT, the greatest of all time when it comes to football. So my deal is Peyton Manning is going to be out to put on the show. He will be the Super Bowl MVP. It's nothing that's going to be happening. The first half will be a good, nice tight scoring game. The second half will be pretty much a blowout in Denver's favor. Now, let's say if the weather goes bad, still have Denver winning, but it won't be by much. If the weather goes bad, I got Denver winning 23-17 by a six-point close game. That way, if the weather is bad, Marshawn Lynch will be the problem for Seattle. Marshawn Lynch will get his carries. Marshawn Lynch will do his thing, good weather or bad, but... Seattle basically has to pray for bad weather so the run game will be more effective than the passing game. Well, anyway, this Super Bowl was totally unexpected. I figured Seattle would do good, but not that damn good. I thought the 49ers would be in it. I almost had it right by saying 49ers and the Denver Broncos. But, yeah, hey, shit happens. Anyway, last year, if you go back and look at my last year prediction, I was right to the T. And I promise you, this year I'm going to be right to the T. Until the next time, I'm going to give you my post-Super Bowl interview right after this. Y'all take it easy. DJ Big O, right up here at Club oh, Ocean Cabaret. And also, your half-owner and your DJ at Club ICU. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it good. It's going to be a good Super Bowl, but not a tight one. Just trust me on this. Till next time, holler back at you.